Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are back. Season 5. I can't count. I thought it was 6, but I'm drunk. It's season 5. The so it's 5 years of NHW. Set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 454 pounds. And there you have the squad coming to the ring. They are ready to get it in. Um, hey, hey, you know, th these guys came up. We're looking to get back heavy into the tag team scene. You know, you have to these days because it seems to have gone by the wayside. And way back when, I was a very heavy component of tag team wrestling. So that's what we're getting back into, thanks to the general manager and the owner. I am Mr. GV3. Here on the ones and twos, getting ready to watch these teams go at it. Um, and right now, you have Smokey Kyle Morris, is the blonde guy, and the one with the uh, the dread, not the dreads, shit, the the, the hairdo. <laughs> that is stunning, and Andre Brooks. At a combined weight of 465 pounds. And then you have Stu and uh the visionary spaz the visionary this is the blood eye mafia coming to the ring yes these are two new tag teams trying to work their way up to see if they can dethrone the current tag team champions duke little charles being violence united and they definitely need some uh some action well action's probably not the correct word that's crazy um they probably need some uh, some worthy opponents. That's what we'll go with. Some worthy opponents. So we're going to see what happens here tonight. This is the, the only tag match of the night. But there will be more in the future. Right now, we are going to see a fourth wall breaking, as I normally do. How these tag matches actually go. And B, which one of these teams can come out on top opening for season five this is a big deal actually uh you're the first match of the new season and andre rocking the it looks like he's rocking the white forces so this is this is black air force uh territory we, we need to change that up I, I thought that was in the contract maybe it wasn't i don't know i'm just here and now throws Spaz into the corner, takes a little stroll over, grabs him up, puts him on the middle rope, off the ropes, and a leg drop from the hanging position. And Stu, uh, not Stu, Spaz decided that he was not going to sell that. So, uh, <laughs> okay, all right, before I could even say he was about to uh, help him out, damn. Putting hands on his tag team partner, Kyle. It didn't matter. Ooh, big knee takes him down, stuns him up nice. Didn't stun him for too long. Is he now? Okay. All right. They're just going back and forth. We love it. Uh-oh. Around the round. Oh. Right out of one, two. Only a two count. Oh, I thought he was about to kick the ref. And with these tag team matches, it must be known that once you come into the ring the first time, if the tag has not been made, you do not get to come back in. So if you screw it up, uh, the referee is under direct rules. You, you, boy, you gonna have a bad day just watching your partner get beat to death. And we got a little mutilation of the fingers right there and knees to the back. Thought he was gonna make a show the blades click. He did not. And now taking a stroll over to Stu. Tag has been made. And Kyle standing there waiting for his shot to get in there. As Stu throws him off the rope or into the corner. Ooh, nice clothesline into the corner. And now, oh, runs him over with the clothesline to the back of the head. And now, oh, double axe handle to the back right between the shoulder blades. And then puts an elbow in his lower back. He's, Kyle is not enjoying what he's seeing here and um walls of jericho reversed okay and, oh round he goes and 
plants him right on the Lion of National Honor Wrestling. He rolled out of the ring. Kyle is in the ring, and he is going to take a nap right there in the middle. <laughs> uh, oh, he's not done with him. Andre getting some more work from Stu, and Kyle's just kind of there. Oh, there he goes. Snap near takeover. And now you are definitely in the ropes. And Kyle gets thrown into the corner. Ooh, big forearm smash. And another clothesline to the back of Kyle's head this time. Takes the stroll and the tag. And Spaz is feeling it here. Spaz going to throw him off the ropes up into the air. And that was a long way down. And now heading to the corner. So whatever Spaz was going for got canceled because he kipped up. Throws him into the corner again. Oh, went for the knife edge chop. Got blocked in a kick to the midsection. And now, hello. Nice little stunner there. And the tag is made. Spaz wasn't paying attention. He was going for his move. And he allowed Kyle to tag Andre. And he just caught a cutter from hell into the pin. Here we go. One. And that is Stu's one breakup of this uh, without being tagged. So that could be a problem for Spaz in the long run. There's another one of those tilt the world stunners I I don't it's springboard stunner I'm gonna just stick with that cuz don't you take him in the corner and get some of that work anyway first time match up here don't know if they've met up outside of NHW but here's their first time of course cuz they're new <laughs> anyway and now oh big Kinshasa out of the corner Bombay if you're not basic and now going to throw him into the corner. Uh-oh. Could be time for a little action. No, Stu kind of stepped over. Oh! Disaster kick right to the side of the head. I don't know why Stu moved over. He could have had something going there. And now he's just going for a jog around the ring. Where are you going there, buddy? Okay, there we go. To the top rope. And now he wants Andre to stand up. Oh, missed that double axe handle, bricked it. Nothing in the pool but air and opportunity. And he missed the opportunity. Ooh, back elbow to get him off him. Ooh, shot to the spine, throws him into the corner. Never mind, reversed. And now Stu has to be careful because he is definitely in enemy territory. Does that right in front of his tag team partner, Kyle, talking pure trash. And now, ah, guy, I rake on the top rope. Hello? Club to the back of the head. And now as Andre rolls out, Spaz is going to tag in. Andre on the outside there. Just kind of easy going to get it at the moment. And now putting the beats of the Bodrum on his chest. Ref is at the count of three. We go to the count of ten here in NHW. And now both of them are out there. Hello? Okay. The black handle missed. Over the top rope. Nothing there. Not a damn thing. It was nothing there whatsoever. Andre's too tired to even dive. Ooh, and he's putting his hands on Kyle. And Andre's telling him to get back in the ring. Ooh. Alright, now we now we in the entrance way. Here we go. We're fighting now. They said the hell with the rules. Everybody, everybody gonna get some of this work today. Oh, big knee taking down Kyle. And now slides back into the ring. Gets a hand on Andre. Nice Northern Lights. Oh, holds him. We got two of them into the pin. Kyle can come in to save him, but does not. But he was able to kick out at the count of two. And he, Jesus, stop looking at Kyle. Yeah, because you, you just got super kicked right in the mouth. And, ooh, big shot to the head. And that's, yeah, you, you fucked around and found out. There we go. I, yeah, I was going to say FAFO, but there are people that may not know what that means. Do not ask. Ooh, ooh, putting, throw, dropping bows on him. 
float over DDT. Never mind. He is able. He said, unhand me now. Throws him off the ropes. Front drop kick right to the sternum. Nice leg drop. And Spaz decides that he needs to get out of the ring. And now Kyle going over at Stu. Ooh, does not see that Spaz is standing. Now he does. Goes to throw some hands here on the outside. Oh, drops him on the top. Or oh, damn, on the what the hell is that thing? The barricade, Jesus. And then there's my favorite, the everybody knee, because everybody has used that knee. I love it. I love it. I'm not changing names here. We're at the count of six. Ripcord, big knee, right to the bridge of the nose. Don't forget to get in the damn ring. We're at the count of seven here. They, they, they said, F it. Hello? Woo-wee, boy, you was cutting it close. And he's got a little crimson mask on as he gets that. Uh, he returned the favor. Kyle kipped up back into the corner. Oh, the tag has been made. And, oh, Jesus. He back elbowed him. Somebody was going to get that float over DDT. And he pins him off that. I don't know if he's going to get it. Oh, God. But that float over busted him open as well. The only person not bleeding right now is Stu. And even if he was, you probably can't tell it because he's wearing a mask. You got to love it. And whoa, round the way, Cutter. And Kyle said, nah, sir, that's not happening. That's who he, he, I hope that was worth it because you saw that frustration on him. Because here he comes. Kyle cannot re-enter the ring. And flipped him over. Ref was in the way, but it didn't take the full bump. One, two, and only a two count. And the crowd chanting tag team wrestling. Ooh, forearm shiver just drops into his face. All four men have to be beat. We are a good eight minutes, nine minutes into this match. And there has been action everywhere in the ring, outside the ring, all over the damn place. Takes him down by his arm, wraps it around into the arm bar. Ref is just standing there. No tap out in sight. I think of the four, Stu is probably the freshest one. Now Kyle in the ring, Andre out, and oh, hit him with that flying clothesline. I thought there was going to be more, but Stu did not make the stand up, needing the back of the head. Oh, that's a rude way to pin somebody. It just, just smushed their face. Oh, ooh, ooh, back, uh oh, okay, here we go. Jesus, European uppercut. And now putting hands on him, dropping them fist on an already bloody Kyle. I'm not sure where he's dragging him. He looked at the corner as he dragged him away. He must have something on his mind. Okay, he lifts him up. That didn't go the way he wanted to. Four arms smash. Another tag. Stu trying to get to the corner. That forearm did, or that, yeah, that whatever did it. All right. And now Spaz back in the ring. Man, that spun him around. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's night, night time. Stu gets in the ring. He says no. He, mm -mm. he, he, he heard disease. He heard the nap time. Throws him into his own corner. Ooh, back elbow. Damn, hits him with that super kick. Tags in Kyle. We're going to see what Kyle's going to do. And Kyle thought about going after him, but Stu cannot get back in the ring. Uh-oh, back elbow. Big knee. Then you go to uh, shoot the half into the pin. The ropes are right there. You can go for the rope break any time, too. Only a two count. Well, you know you tired. You got to throw your whole body over. You wind up on your belly. And I just noticed that he's fighting in chains. My man. 
And going over to the corner makes a tag. With the advantage, I'm not sure how smart that was, especially when you're in your own corner. You put him in his corner. I guess it worked out. Cause that, that, uh, yeah, that German suplex was rude. Hello? Oh, okay. All right. Andre said he still got a little bit in the tank. And the code breaker. Jeez. Ooh, big drop kick right there. Both men tired and down. Is our first tag team match going to end <laughs> in a count out? And up and oh, he caught him with that cutter on the outside. Both men down. We're at the count of six. We're at the count of seven. Anybody? Eight. He's at the count of nine. Going to get back in the ring. He gets back in. Will the ref make it to the 10 count before he gets back in? Yes, he does. Here are your winners. And the squad picked up a, a hard fought victory, even though it was a count out. So I'm sure we'll see these two teams scrapping again real soon. Congratulations on your first win, though. Hey, a win's a win, however you got to get it. Let's go to the next matchup. And now, second match of the night, we have another debuting superstar with a, I don't, would you say teammate? I don't know, but this is Nails, and he has entered the ring area with Kojak in tow. And I'm not sure what this unholy alliance is about, but... We, we watched Taz, uh, not Taz, Spaz on some, we, we've watched him uh, on a place called UNT. Scheduled four, one fall, and making his way to the ring from Omaha, Nebraska, weighing in at 275 pounds, Mr. North. And he definitely has something. Um, and we're going to find out what, damn it, we are going to find out today uh, as he will be facing... Uh, a former First Blood champion here in, um, in NHW. Uh, someone who has been looking to get on a roll for a while now. Um, and that is Omega Man coming to the ring. That's correct. Omega Man back again. Tag team back again. Whatever you want to say. <laughs> Uh, but he is here, and, and have, his opponent from Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 215 pounds, Omega Man. We'll see what happens with Omega Man if he is able to pick up his first victory of the season. There's a lot of debuts here. Um, yes, I said it. Really. Um, there's a lot of debuts going on here, and we want to see what uh, they have. So, you know, last night we got we got probably more tag teams than we do singles. So some of them will be doing singles, and some of them will be doing straight tags. It's up to them. Um, but you also have people like Omega Man here, who uh, you know has been trying to get back on track for a while now. I don't want to say it wasn't going his way, but I don't want to say it was, because it kind of, you know, just was faltering around. It was just kind of easy going to get it there for a while. Like, he was here, and then he wasn't, and then he didn't know what the hell was going on, and then he did, and then a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, so, Omega Man here, now, ready to go, and looking like Father Time. It's kicking his ass a little bit. I understand it. I am old, too. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I need to stop. All right. But anyway, here we go. And Omega Man starting off strong against the newcomer Nails. Putting fist to face early on here. Lifts him up and gives him that everybody knee with the knee brace on the nail. Back to his feet. That's a big size difference. That forearm shiver was gross. Oh. Uh, 
And now, oh, hammer lock, DDT. Just plants him on his head. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now, he is really putting the works to nails. Good Lord. We do know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We see you, cuz. We see you. Get, getting down with the get down. And there's Nails getting his first real actual move of the matchup. And now that size advantage is definitely going to come into play as that uh, suplex was huge. And his arm is about as big as half a Mega Man. That's crazy. This is a big boy in the ring. And now Emerald Fusion. Nothing going there. Okay, Omega Man off the ropes. Uh, springboard forearm with the arm dislocation. You gotta love 2K game. Back in the character. <sighs> and then puts the knee to the side of the head. Man, he is using that as a weapon. I don't care what anybody says, but it's cool. We'll allow it. Anyway. Ooh. And Omega Man fighting back here. Omega Man, the, the, the real <laughs> final countdown. Never mind. He got that. Like, his, his muscle, like, covered his head. And you see that Kojak is definitely loving it. That everybody needs straight into the pen. Only got a one count. Holy shit. Mm. Now putting his hands ooh, on him and really feeling it. <laughs> and whoa, oh, okay, yep, yeah, there's the game doing game things. And now he's he's showing off the games, but he should be worried about his opponent as he takes up Mega Man for a stroll. Now I'm gonna put him on the top rope. Oh, never mind. He's running them turnbuckle to turnbuckle. That cannot feel good at all. Jesus, mercy, why? Why the hell did he have to do that? Like that was rude. And now has him up in the position. What are we going for here? A GTS right in the middle of the ring. Ah, uh, hello? Him might be dead. No, he's still kicking. Somehow, some way, Omega Man is still kicking. And this big behemoth just went over the top rope and is now on the top rope. I do not know how I feel about this as he is telling Omega Man to get up and went for the shoulder block and he kind of ole him a little bit there. And then rolled out and back into the ring. Nails able to get out of the way. And oh, duck under. Oh, big man got some moves. Okay, but it didn't matter. Omega Man breaking him down. Yes, yes. Okay, let me stop there. Yes. Ooh, big kick to the back of the head. Shoots to half into the pin. One, two. Ooh, two count. Omega Man is going to have to throw everything he can effing find at this man because he's not going to just stay down. Nails ready to go here. And he's talking trash to Kojak now. Should be paying attention to that big behemoth in front of him. Now he's going for a walk. If he said unhand me. And oh, never mind. Oh, a reversal, a reversal over the top rope. If this was a Royal Rumble, that would have been it for both of them. Because Omega Man is putting it all on the line out here. He's, he's out here having a day. Sir, have a day. He is fighting for his life, it kind of feels like. Because <laughs> that's, a, that's a big boy he's he facing off against. Ooh. Oh, we, we can't start off with two count outs back to back. That would be absolutely insane. I'd, I'd kind of lose my mind just a little bit. That count of six. Both men tired. Ref is counting unusually fast if you ask me at the count of seven at the count of eight both men back in the ring and now here we go off the oh oh he put that head on him he paused oh hated here okay 
See, that's what happens when you hang out with Dre a lot. You just be making you say stupid, be thinking about everything you say. Anyway, came with that head, but now I'm going to work on that leg. Standing trading blows. And it is clear that a Mega Man is not getting the best of this exchange. <laughs> Never mind. He turned it around. Oh, they just going back and forth. You love to see this. Just, just have a day, gentlemen. Just out there trick. Oh, no man. No man. Forget, forget I forget I spoke. I'm, I'm uh, yeah. You, you going back up there again? Hey, you learned the last time. Oh, you going. Oh. Oh, big elbow drop from him. Drops him down. The ref is not refing. Did Omega Man pay off the ref? Like, what the hell just happened there? I don't know. Oh, runs him over with the big knee onto the middle rope. I'm pretty sure that they're going to have something to say about it regardless, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And hit him with that knee, and it drops him down to the ground. Oh, nice reversal there from Nails. And now Nails has him again. Trying to take it for a throw. And that's not going down the way he thought it was. There's him off the ropes. There's that head butt again into the pin. Ref in the position this time. One, two. Still only a flipping two count. And Lord only knows what he has in store here. Oh. Back on top, waiting for him to get up. It could be another go to sleep. Oh no. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, burning hammer. All right, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, you, you might. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. No! Omega Man's still in it. Omega Man is still in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just, he might have just fucking crushed him. Two, then there it is, Omega Man. Just, just, he, he ran into something. I don't know Mr. if he was ready for it. Wow. And there's your winner, Nails, after a hard fought victory over a former champion here in NHW. Starting off strong. We still got three matches to go, ladies and gentlemen. This might wind up being a four-match card when it's all said and done, but whatever. And now, we have kind of a debut. We'll say it's a debut. Okay. <laughs> He's new to us, damn it. All right? That's what we're going with, and this is Dame Porter. We've also seen him in uh, the likes of... Uh, GWW doing his thing, which is a partner group to us, even though sometimes they don't treat the us like we get I'm four, playing. One I'm fall. playing. Making his uh, way to the ring <laughs> from Oakland, <laughs> California, weighing in at 240 pounds, Dame Porter. And Dame Porter coming to the ring uh, with Marcus King. At his back, I'm not sure if this gotta ask the person who created. Oh, god, that's all outside the fourth wall, anyway. Yeah, so yeah, Dane Porter he coming to the ring for his first match in the NHW ring, and uh, we're gonna see what he's got in store, what he's got going on, and uh, you know, if he's able to get some dubs out here. You know what I'm saying? I know some people that he that that were affiliated with such a name. And his opponent from San Jose, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, J.B. Hayes. J.B. Hayes, multi-time champion. 
here in NHW. I believe the only title that he has so far not put his paws on is a world title. I think. Because we're down to five titles apiece. Five titles for the men, five titles for the women. The World European Honor Championship, which used to be the television championship, kind of runs along the same way. Tag Team Championship and First Blood Championship. I know for sure he's had the First Blood Tag Team and European title. Pretty sure he had the Tag Team title at some point too. So, I'm going to say the only title he hasn't had is the World's Heavyweight Championship of either NHW and or Capital Pro. Capital Pro World Champion right now is, um, is, um, oh my God, Jackson Drake. We, we had to have a little, a little parlay for that. And it was kind of cool. So it's something that I might be doing with, um, a title like maybe the First Blood and or Honor Championship where the responses on the bird app, I will never call it X, it is Twitter. Um, the responses is how you wind up in the match if it's going to be a multi-man match. That makes sense for titles like those that don't necessarily have to have a storyline behind them. Okay, now that I've kind of factory reset my brain while recording this, JB Hayes. Dip, uh, dip, uh, got rid of the trunks for some tights. Okay, we see with the North Face, but now he's going up against Dane Porter. Dane Porter is doing his thing over in GWW. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere else, but at the moment, I haven't seen where else. No disrespect. I just be busy. <laughs> Ooh, big lead is back there. Yeah, the crowd already chanting to break his fingers. Ooh, Dane Porter on J.B. Hayes' bumper, and, you know, it, it's clear what he wants to do here. He wants to make that name for himself, and I'm kind of here for it, you know what I mean? Like, everything resets when the, when the championships are, uh, not the championships, the fuck am I talking about? When the, when the season restarts, I am out of my mind. And yes, I am fully aware I'm out of my mind. I don't need your help to tell me. Anywho. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, mutilating those fingers. Again, big knees to the back. And there's Marcus King over there messing with the turnbuckle. And the ref did absolutely nothing. I'm not sure that he saw. Um, but, oh, oh, boy. I thought he was going to throw him off. That would have been crazy. And then up and oh my lord, that gut buster. He ain't gonna be able to eat forever. One, two, only a two count. I would not have been mad if it was a three. Not because, because of nothing more than he just threw him up in the air and was like, hey, hold this. And then what the hell was that? Didn't even get him one count. You didn't really have him pinned, sir. You gotta, gotta put some force on him, some weight on it. You know what I'm saying? And now J.B. Hayes going for a move bit and get it. Scorpion Death Drop Reverse DDT. Hoopstever, whichever, whatever you want to call it. And now Dane just kicking him in the face. Kind of taunting him a little bit. You know what I mean? Just got to gotta show him something. Got to tell him some things. And now Marcus King sliding him in a tour. Oh, oh, a two-piece. He hit the turn. He hit the exposed turnbuckle and got the knee. Ooh. And the ref grabbing the chair. Throwing it out. That would have been his. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, ooh. They were really. I mean, both of them have used that exposed turnbuckle. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. oh there was nothing there. Dane Porter had to hold that. Oh! Arnold Spiral drops him on his face. Ooh, working on that knee. 
Working on it They're pretty good there. Aim has been in control for most of this match. The <laughs> ref's not paying attention. Marcus said it's coming off again. He's like, listen, sir, would you stop it? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, just, you know. Uh-oh. Do be back on his feet. Down, up, over. And there's that knee again, right to the midsection. And he's going to pin him one more time off of it. One. And one count. And, ooh. Missed him. Oh. Goozle. Up. Are we going for a military press? We are. Military press slam right into the pin. Not a bad idea. One, two. I was the ref blurry there. That's crazy. Oh, the cross face. Cross face applied. And Dame said, no, sir. Ooh, kick to the big kick to the mid, mid section. I'm an English eventually. Uh-oh. Oh, his knees touched his nose. That's, that's crazy. And Dame with the snap mirror off the bottom rope. Basement drop kick right to the mid section. Goes for the pin, mushes his face like he did him too. Only a two count, but that was right in the middle of the ring. There was nothing that you could have said about that one. Lifts him up. Discus Larry. Just a good old, just a good old Larry. You gotta love it. You know what? I'm I'm okay with Dane now. Just a good old spin around. I want to take your head off with my forearm. I love it. That's the good stuff right there. But but me and the boss man we're a little biased because you know that's his finisher too. Oh, went for the cross body and got caught. Hello. Oh, good big body slam there. Hit to the face. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you got him again with the leaping downward spiral. JB Hayes out of the ring. And there is that chair over there. <coughs> Dame really keeping a. A view on Marcus. Well, since that, I guess that's who's training him. He looks like a trainer. That hat is definitely screaming trainer. Hello, downward spiral on the outside. And at the count of six now. Dan getting back to his feet. And he deposits JB back in the in the ring. Oh, he was going for something. JB might have been going for that cutter. There you, know, you go. His knees touched his forehead again. Full Nelson suplex is rude. I don't appreciate how you treated how you treated him into that arm bar. Shoot the half, go for the pin. I'm not sure if you're going to get it off that, buddy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Two count. Ooh. Dane getting a little beside himself. Got to. You, 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 these people got to. These people. Lord. You got to stay on point. There it is, because that's what I was about to say. Because you can get caught by that shit by any, just out of anywhere. You only got a two count, but JB don't need much to hit you with that. It, it's coming. He slides that cutter up, and he's ready to deposit. Oh, I'll be damned. He went through with the, I don't think he knows the dame was out of the ring. Double underhooks are in. Ooh, nice bridge. Can he break free? Ah, barely. Wow, that was a two. I don't know if you can get any closer without slapping your hand on the mat for three. Oh, so he said, my guts are staying where they are. Okay, okay. Two lariats. We got a third one. We got a third one. No, we got a uh, power slam to finish it off. JB feeling it right now. Uh-oh. Goodbye. Oh, he hurt himself on that one. I think trapping his arm behind him was a bad idea. JB is back to his feet, though. Ooh. Big shot right there. And now waiting for Dame to get up. This match has become very good. Started off a little rough, but we there. We got there. 
Whee! Overhead belly to belly suplex by Dane. JB is a ring veteran. Getting out of the way there. Mm. And then he gets hit by that. <coughs> Hello? Oh! There's only 1%. Had to look, my guard dog wasn't guarding too well. Ooh, kick to the midsection. Um, sir, you know that there's a chair out there. You know, he did he did that on purpose. Deposited him right on that chair. And the crowd chanting one more time. I'm not sure where he is trying to go. Well, y'all about to get counted out. A double. <laughs> okay. Hey, we love it. We love it. That's the instant rivalry going on right there. You both got counted out. Yeah, I know the screen's there. Fuck it. Um, Y'all both got counted out. You know what it is. You know what it does. Uh, hey, of course, we'll have to see you two in something like a Falls County Anywhere match. That's how this works. Let's go. What's the next? All right, now we got a four-way match in the semi-main event of the evening. In this four-way match, um, okay, so let's let's try to rope this all in here. One, the first man out, um, was in the show was in a showcase match, which is fun. That's cool. Um, but he had quite the showing, and we believe. That this could, you know, run you into that first blood championship. The following contest era. I'm just is saying. I just, you know, there's, there's just things match. you understand that just happen. Making his way to the run. ring from London, England, weighing in at 275 pounds, Car Nate. And Carnage here, you know, he, listen, I don't. <sighs> the GM is a bit of a psychopath, right? Like, he, he's really trying to make sure that all these championships find a good home. You know what I'm saying? And right now, Kyle Reed is the current champion of the uh, First Blood Division. And the First Blood Division is not actually a division. Anybody can get a shot at that title. All you got to do is make somebody bleed. However, comma, this is not one of those types of matches. You're not making anybody bleed. Here. That is... A misconception for this particular match. This is just four men trying to beat the hell out of each other. Which is cool. Should be a first blood match. It is not. Oh well. Uh, should we, Maybe we'll actually make a first blood division. Like an actual division of people who just... But that's not fair though. Because you look at people like Trevor Hannibal. Right? And you know everybody knows that we're big fans of Trevor Hannibal. He held the first blood championship for an entire effing season. Then runs around and was like, hey, bro, let me hold that world title. Jim was like, bet. He won the world title. Lost it. And his opponents Has not gotten his rematch yet. This will be addressed Rico, this season. I'm so, I, I say pose. Pounds, the Savior. Hawkins. And then the Savior here. He is... Uh, Ready to go himself on a debut here in NHW. That's right. This man is making his debut in NHW as well. And we're, we're excited to see him. We're, we're excited to see everybody. We are happy here at NHW that you trust us enough to do the work, put in the work. Because you guys tell the story with your cause and we do the rest okay that's enough of the a the mushy shit and b breaking the fourth wall i think i still got two matches to try to get through let's go <laughs> I, I destroy that fourth wall with reckless abandon on most shows i'm sorry it just it is what it is yo it is it is what it is but anyway Xavier Hawkins coming to the ring now, in the ring now, and he is ready to go. And we will see um, what he can do. I have heard 
Now, this is just something that I heard about this guy. Is I heard that sometimes if things ain't going his way, another side of him comes out. Right? And from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 232 pounds. And here is a uh, newcomer to NHW. This is Grind Perez. But it, I'm, I'm we'll, we'll, okay, I'll get back to him in a minute. Welcome to NHW for Grind Perez. This is a man who was heavily scouted by the NHW talent scouts and pointed in the right direction by one uh, Ken Washington and Franco Grice. Franco Grice, if you do not remember, is the former owner of NHW. Lost a match to Ken Washington for the ownership of this company. And, well, kind of like with another company that we've... Oh, whatever. Kind of with another company that we, we know and kind of love. You know, changing of the guard uh, changed the leadership and changed the and show from for York the better. from Yorktown Heights, New York, weighing in at 321 pounds, Aaron I'm not sure what the fuck that is on his chest, but that is not supposed to be there. Aaron Abbott is, uh, see, yep, got to break the fourth wall again. Aaron Abbott is a, a creation of mine, and that is supposed to say chosen culture on his chest. And I haven't used the deletion utility. Well, I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, unbreaking the fourth wall. We were back. All right, so with uh, Aaron Abbott here, this is his first no, this is his third match since being cleared. Aaron Abbott was a former uh, PWR tag team champion twice over and retired from the ring due to a neck injury in PWR where he got dropped on that big ass noggin. And yeah, so, you know, it took him a couple years to get cleared, three years to be exact. And he is now ready to roll in this four-way match. And, um, oh, Savior out there fighting the big man. And now he's got to deal with Grime. And Grime Perez. And, yes, all toys are legal in this matchup. Your objective is to win. Ooh. Carnage caught that, but Hawkins is flying around. Damn. And there goes the big man with the oh the choke slam backbreaker. Maybe this is not a good match for him to start off with. You know what I'm saying? Like my man's kid, you know, <laughs> he aired himself. Be back on the shelf again. Aaron Abbott will be teaming mostly with Dub Taylor this season in NHW. Uh oh, so we're going. Uh oh, you feeling it? We oh. He got canceled. He got canceled like he said a remark. Okie doke. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I promise. I'm going to behave. I might have lied again. I'm going to try to behave. I got to stop hanging out with Dre. He got me. He got me. He got me bugging. Anywho. <clears throat> also, while I'm thinking about it, linked in this channel is me and Dre's other gaming channel. His knees hit him in the forehead, carnage. This is an elimination style match. And he put that shoulder tackle on him. Um, and big man holding that leg as he got careened over again. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, we have a separate gaming channel for non-wrestling things. Go check it out. You'll, if, if you're into football at all, uh, you'll hear us just talking and me stressing because... Um, I'm a Maryland Terrapin fan, and they cause me all the fucking stress every bit of it. Okay, done with the shameless plug, and now back into character. I keep saying that. This, that's what, the fourth time this match? Take a drink every time I break the fourth wall. Gonna be some drunk motherfuckers out here. Anyway, Brian Perez stalking Aaron Abbott has him. Oh! Ow! 
held his arm and just suplexed the shit out of him. Big back elbow to Carnage. Carnage may not know where he is at the moment. Ryan Perez is doing his thing. Here comes Xavier Hawkins putting hands on Ryan Perez. Hello with the clothesline. Ooh. And now we're going to try to take the pin. Carnage just kind of there letting it happen, of course, because it is one of those types of matches. And now Brown going to take a little, a little break, you know, get his thoughts together, collect himself. We saw a little bit. Didn't work out too well for him. And now Carnage, woo, just got missed. Hello, Savior. You just kind of missed everything. And, hey, it is what it is. Okay, ref, I see you clearing the steps. One, two. And we're still in the match, ladies and gentlemen. And now Don Perez throwing. Oh, yeah, I thought he was throwing him back in the ring. Damn, he just turned him inside out. Oh, that might be dead. He might be retired again. He should have stayed in the tag team division. <laughs> oh, man. Which, you know, the tag team matches aren't going to be too bad this year, I don't think. I think we'll have some good tag team matches. We've got a lot, a lot of tag teams. Look at the power of Carnage. I'm not sure what that slide was all about, but okie doke. And now the ref running. Oh, I paid my lights. One, two, only a two count. And Jesus, man, it's going to just obliterated out here. And now Carnage. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, he's about to load him up. He's about to put that punch on him. He 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 he, 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 he was getting ready, that thing ready to fly. Why not let it fly? Oh, Carnage down. Hello. One. Only a one count. Now Eric Adler is having to deal with Brian Perez, and Brian Perez just turned his seven-foot one ass inside out. No eliminations yet. Oh, oh, wait! Everybody's just flying around down here. And Savior throwing, Car oh, Carnage throwing Savior back in the ring. And now these two are back at it. I don't, I think, I don't think they like each other. That's that's my initial thought. That is my initial thought. Oh, he went for that big dude. And now they're all in the same area. Okay. Okay. In concert over here. I okay, y'all know what y'all doing. Okay. We see we see you. It's seen. Throws him off the ropes. Duck under. Oh, he went for that lariat. But there was not a soul home. Savior just breaking up things. Actually helping him. And brain buster into the pin. One, two, only a two count. Oh, Fishman suplex to the outside. Ref is getting ready to run out there. He's like, what's happening out here? Oh, he got him again. Oh, he, oh, oh, on the bad neck. On the bad neck. Yeah, yeah, I, I figured as much. I did figure as much. That was, that's a bad neck out there, you know what I'm saying? Now we are down to three. And Ron really, he's telling Carnage to come on like he really wants it. Up. Down with the military press. And now he's trying to feel it, but Xavier Hawkins is there and not having any of it. Ooh. Somebody busted open. Somebody busted open. And now we're going to take him for a little walk in the park. I thought he was. Uh-oh. Roll through. Kick to the face. And his already bloody head full of Nelson suplex right on the back of his. And Ground taking a stroll, going to get some, uh, some party favors. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it party hole. There's that punch. Oh, he kind of hit it. He dazed and confused him. You going, what, you, what you doing here? 
Ooh. And now, oh. And then, uh oh. Sends him on his way. And, oh, spins around into the pin. Gran Perez, will that be what gets him out of here? Two. No. That will not be what gets him out of here. <laughs> Excuse me. The steps have come into play. Oh, a blockbuster from the top rope. We're now going for a friend, but um, kind of got intercepted. And um, with one elimination already taking turn for a walk, hangs him up on the top rope. Into the pen, Connors looks like he's had a bad day. Two count is administered, and now Grime back on the attack of Carnage. Carnage able to reverse it. Knife edge chop now puts his attention on Hawkins, who is able to reverse it and get out of himself. And now up. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, and over into the cutter. You love to see it. Innovative moves into the pin. Grimes is just going to kind of hang out and catch his breath while that two count was administered. And now I'm not. Okay. Ring around. Okay, there we go. We're on the. Uh, I'm not sure how the hell that just happened, but this is where we're at. And Ryan able to get free. Oh, he dropped kicked him in the side of the head. There was already a chair out there. I guess he wanted a fresh one. Yeah, that chair has seen some action. Ooh. Nice toss. Hello. CTE. Yeah. <laughs> just going just to CTE in a little bit. One, two. We only a two count. Xavier Hawkins goes outside to get him some a breath of fresh air. He just, I'm, yeah, okay. I'm not used to seeing that. Over the top rope. Puts hands on him. He hangs on. Forearm shiver. He's going to be bleeding some more. Help. Oh, God. Yeah, pin him. Ref, a little out of position. A little lot of out of position. That could have probably been a three count. And now, Ron, mm, introducing him. To the ring apron. I can have a very intimate relationship. Oh my lord. He Grimes sleep. He turned him inside out. No, he's not. He's still awake. My bad. I'm so sorry, sir. I have underestimated what I what what's happening here. Okay. Throws him. Now he has the chair. Oh, made him drop it. That worked out for Grime. And now, oh, a little double team action. A little double team action. Ooh, just missed the chair. But now uh, that's over with, and so is your spine. Well, yeah, it's, it's okay, though. One. And still no elimination yet. Oh, just launched his body at him. Mist mistakes were made. Okay. Ow. Oh, there comes some more steps. You gotta, you gotta have the steps. In case you oh, on the knee. With the knee brace on. Oh, bobbing and weaving. And hello. Oh, a little bitter end action. Ready for the pin here. One, two. Only a two count. <laughs> and, ooh, throws him in to the barricade. Nothing for him to really go into there, but that forearm was definitely there. Grant 
Okay, Savior fighting back, flipping through on Prettier on the chair. Might have hurt himself as well. Holy hell. And instead of going for the pin, he's going for the other man in the match. I think that that's a mistake for that particular one. Ooh, Falcon Arrow. He <laughs> Love it. Go oh, oh, up and oh, over. So he got that song. And I'm not sure where the hell he's going now. There's a perfectly good. You know that there's a. Sir. Oh, okay. He, t he told me to shush. I'm going to just. You just shush. Am I allowed to talk? Well, should, oh my god, damn. He just. He, he tore his face up on the, the apron, the, the bottom rope. Like, that pounce was unnecessary. The how he's still awake is beyond me. I'm pretty sure knockouts are on in this match. I'm pretty sure. But they are doing some wild ish. Oh, he just decided, you know what? I'm putting hands on him. That wasn't that what he said. That was that's what him said, dude. I'm just putting hands on him. Everybody everybody gotta get this work. Everybody gotta get it. Ryan Perez back to his feet, flips him over into the pin. One, two. Dun, 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 dun. Ow! Steps, pounce, dead. Oh, I thought he was about to pounce the hell out of him too. That'd be hilarious. Nobody introduced him to that. that right there, hook it up. Oh yeah, dog. Downward spine. No, he was waiting for. It. Is that grind to get up? Oh, it was. And now gonna. Turn him inside out again. One, two, and now it's going to carnage. And Hawkins, Jesus. And now, oh, good German suplex, but I, you, you know they tired, okay? Listen, I'm, I'm not going. Sit here in front. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know you're tired. You gotta be. <laughs> you gotta be. This match has been going on for, if you take away entrances, about 17 minutes now. And it, yeah, y'all y'all are tired. I'm tired for you. Uh-oh, he caught him. Coming through. Drops him down. Hits him with the pin. Shoulder might be up, but it doesn't matter because he kicked out anyway. Hooray! Ooh. Oh, okay. Kick to the side of the head. Oh, he's swinging wild. Well, I'd have kept that chair. I, I, I mean, that's me, though. I can't tell you how to live your life. I can tell you that probably sucked, considering. You know, both of y'all was, was, was bleeding a little. Got a little, got a little ketchup on your faces. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, hands, hands, dropping bows. Ooh, good shot there. Oh, okay. He's getting a little, he's getting a little, a little flippy with it. A little flippity do. I love it. And then just bodied him, turned him into a piece of. And now we're gonna throw him into the barricade. He didn't quite make it. And now he's got that kendo stick. He went for something. Oh, got, got caught with that reverse clothesline instead. And now, oh. He said, unhand me, good sir. And I'm putting hands on him. And feet. And clothesline, so I guess that's forearms too. One, two. Only a two count. <laughs> and we still got a main event to go. The main event that was actually kind of set up on the X machine. Let me 
explain when we get there though i'm trying to stay focused on this match and hope that my uh my radio voice does not give out in case you are not aware that is the one of the many nicknames that mc jinx uh gave me with radio voice because what you hear is what you get i really i you, and you can ask anybody who's actually met me I don't I don't get I can't get much louder than this it makes my throat go insane it, it hurts kind of bad okay so with that in mind <coughs> Savior waiting for Connor to get up he's finally got him up his spine is gone down though into the pen one two Wow, I don't, that's all I can say to that is wow. I don't know how either one of these men have anything left in the tank. This has been a match of matches. Well, that might be it right there. Carnage might have just put him away. One, two, never mind. I lied, tee -hee. Um, it's crazy. Ow! Broke the damn kendo stick. And both of them kind of bricked it right there. It's okay. It's okay to brick. Oh, I thought he was going to go for like a brain buster or something, but he got reversed. And now just getting tossed out of his soul. Both of them kind of unable to stand like this it's getting wicked out here Man, it's getting real wicked out here oh breaking the knee oh my god why the hell did that pop into my head? Throws him back into the ring. Goes to meet him. And now, dead left German suplex. Jeez. Oh, ooh, with the kip up. And now, lifts him up, up. Oh, and down, and still, he's moving around, I'm not sure what he's going to go for here, oh, never mind, he might be asleep, how, uh oh, off the ropes, go for the head button, not nothing in the pool, Deadlift, another de another one. Oh, put hands on him. Oh, oh God, right on the back of his head. Savior slid outside the ring like that's going to save him. Unfortunately, so I can tell you that that's not going to save you. Told you. One, two. He kicked out again. What the f What are these two made of? I'm tired. What even, what is this? Oh, got him. Got him with that clothesline. Maybe, maybe he can help himself now. Oh. Only a two count. This is crazy. This match is insanity at its purest. Like I don't. Ow! What the hell? Like blink twice if you need help. Jesus! Into the pen. One, two, 
three and Savior Hawkins is finally. You see how he fell off? Yeah, man's is tired, and he Here's has earned winner, every bit of that Steve win. Hawkins. But the Savior Hawkins with the victory. Congratulations to the good sir. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. That was a hell of a matchup. Hope we don't have any other ones that long. National Honor Wrestling. It's been a long time. It's been far too long, so long, that I must start this in a very special way. First, I want to send a very heartfelt hello and goodbye to my favorite punk bitch, Isaac Turner. We won't miss you. Most of all, I hope you fail at everything you do in the future. So, to the new GM, Mr. Franco Grease, get this right and I'll be your best friend. Ah, now, NHW, this is your European champion, your king, PK King. This is just a reminder that y'all are still beneath me. I am still the guy in this locker room. Don't get it twisted, I'm him. We on king shit. Your king has spoken. Yo, this is your boy, the Suplex Assassin, Alex Kane, former MLW World Heavyweight Champion. And I need y'all to check out my guys at Guerrilla Warfare Wrestling. Every day, every day, stream it every day, enjoy it every day, pick your favorite characters, uh, and just have the, the, the best time you can get, because you know I will, I am, I love it. Check it out on the Eminence Network, and that is on Boomerye, Boomerye, Boomerye. Feels the beast inside me And I play to take you out See, fight me It's going down Cause the moment the bell rings Your fear is so enticing Fight me I don't care about the days that fight me Cause I ain't afraid of nothing Fight me Grind house Yeah, we grind house Grind house Yeah, homie, this my house All right, so it's main event time. And here we have Duke Drama versus Devil Slimeville. And here's, and he is, and he's, what's that? Sir. From Houston, Texas, Sir. in at 220 pounds, the Diamond Daddy Duke. Huh. And so, yeah, so what I was about to say before I was so rudely interrupted was that um, the beef between these two started on the X Machine. Twitter. Sorry, I went against my own words. I said I wouldn't call it that bullshit. Um, but yeah, no, that's where it started. And these two was like, we need to have hands. And I said, bet. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to see which one of these two is better in a one-on-one -on -one setting, even though little bro Devin Slimeville is coming to the ring with the missus, his wife, Jada Slimeville. Congratulations to the real ones, by the way. You know why? I won't put your business out there, but I will say it. And I swear for the Lord, if your hair does not come out on this updated call that you gave me, I am going to slap you person. <laughs> from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Not from Atlanta, man. 230 pounds. The hey, look at that. You got Kevin hair. I, I am amazed. So, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about here, when we had the showcase, I apparently had outdated calls. And for whatever reason, this motherfucker didn't have no hair. We had a lineup, uh, but that was it. It's crazy. I'm glad I make these fools pay for their own power, because that was unnecessary. But anyway, 
So, now, <clears throat> with that out the way, these two are gonna go ahead and do the scraps. Gonna have them a one on one matchup. We are actually doing something a little different with these two. We are going to have um, a best of a seven series for each match. It's different. We have done this before, but this time, it's gonna be a little bit of stakes here. Um, the winner of this best of seven series will find themselves competing for a championship. Will not say which one. Disrespectfully walking by them like you do not stand in there. You love to see it. But it will not happen until a little later in the season. Yep. That's the only drawback that I know I'm going to hear some shit about, but I have already been prepared, so we will see which one wins. I kind of wanted to do something like the, the Heritage Cup a little bit. Um, a little bit. Um... I forgot. Wow, my brain factory reset. Oh, dear Lord. I really did. I factory reset. Wow. Oh, that knee didn't factory reset though. The knee was on point. So yeah, the the only, oh yeah, I was talking about the 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 freaking. Um, Heritage Cup. Like I wanted to do something like that, like Heritage Cup, where you kind of have a little run of the tournament and or a little tournament. Um, it'll probably happen in month two. I have to design the championship first, but um, when I do, um, that person will be guaranteed a world title opportunity, and it will happen for both men and women I thought about doing it as a mixed tag match as we've done before but I'm not gonna nice Larry right there okay I'm back in character okay I think fuck Again, this will be a best of seven series, which will run through the pay-per-view, if you're being honest. So, neither one of these two. That could be interesting. So, in a best of seven series, you know what I'm saying? What if, and I hope the GM or the owner is listening, what if it gets to the point to where the last match needs to be decided the fuck are you kicking it the the last match needs to be decided like uh right there at the heritage cup not it won't be called the heritage cup the honor cup there we go i like that one the honor cup okay what what if that was to happen that would be cool i like that i like that a lot. okay whoa big ivy hello ma'am 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 I'm, I'm gonna refrain. Oh, and you used it. I thought that you, you know what? I thought this was gonna have some honor to it. Aha, aha. I made a pun. Um, <clears throat> do not mind me at all. I am completely out of my mind. Beautiful drop kick right to the bridge of the nose. Of Devin Harold. And now I'm gonna ooh, dump him down on his knee. And now, ooh, ooh. Fist, fist, fist. And oh my lord. And the ref just noticed that that was not there anymore. And now up. Down with the. Oh, okay. His foot was under the rope, but the ref was preoccupied putting that back on. So, we've established the here 
in this situation. And now Devin Harrell putting hands on. <coughs> Excuse me. Putting hands on him, but now Duke Drama has turned it back around. These two definitely going to figure it out here. Um, I'm, I, I don't know how the other matches will go. They will be announced on Twitter. Match 2 through 7 should it come to the 7th match. Um, but if it doesn't, you know, oh well. I thought he was about to hit him with a good old fashioned pile driver. And Duke drama head into the corner. Ready for Devin to get up. Oh! Yep. Well. Oh, he kicked out. He kicked out. Congratulations. He earned something in my book, but now he is getting up. Oh, he went for the finish. But that did not work out too well for him. Throws him over the top rope. Remember, you only have a 10 count to work with out there. We've already seen two count outs today. It's crazy work. So please don't make this a third. So that'll be a draw at 1-1. One, one. And then... And then we have to start the shit. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not starting it. Anymore. But I will let y'all get a count out. And then we'll figure it out from there. Oh, man. Uh, just make me a GM. I'm bugging. Don't mind me at all. Count of five. Thought he was going to take it for a little stroll and put him back in the ring. The ref is at the count of six. Devin. That's going to be a terrible way to lose your first match. And at the count of eight. Duke gets back into the ring. There comes Devin. Uh-oh. Devin caught him. Throws him. Oh, hits him with that knee right on the chin. Duke Drama no-sold the shit out of him. Devin said, unhand me for the second time. And uh-oh. Double underhooks in. Fallen Angel. Or whatever the hell he wants to call it. Rope break. Now into the corner. And okay. Oh. Move for move, huh? Move for move. Shoots to half into the pin. The ref is actually busy because your wife decided to put her hands on the turnbuckle. She might have just cost you the match, sir. Ooh. Oh, never mind. I thought he was about to get him again. Oh, pile drop. Oh, no. Power bomb. Hello? Oh, okay, Duke. We see you with the strength. Two of them. Triples. And now running around. Mm, on that knee, ankle, all of that in that area. And now, oh, this is going to make them show. Them shoulder blades clicking back. God, I hate that knee. <sighs> but I've been hating on that move for four years. <laughs> I can't believe that I am actually, we are actually in season five. That's crazy. That is crazy. And up to the top rope is Duke Drama Duke. I'm telling Devin to get up. That was a beautiful, he put, like when he jumped, he put, ooh. Oh, okay. We saw you, Miss Ivy. But we said, listen. Like, when he jumped, he put his knees in his chest. Not your mission. I think I'm bleeding inside my chest. That's the second time Devin had it scouted. Oh, there we go. Turn about fair play, I guess. Uh-oh. Beautiful drop kick. One. Ah, ah, ah. Two. Three. And not a soul in the pool. There was nothing in the pool. They ain't had a cover on. Uh oh. 
Oh, you said you're going to get this. Oh, on the outside? Oh, no, no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. A lot of violence here. We love it. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. All right. As I kill somebody on the outside. And now the count of six. Tosses him back into the ring. Devin might be out. I don't see how you get up from that. When you're assisted just to go back down by that snap German suplex. And now heading to the top rope. Devin in the middle of the ring. Oh, but he tells him to get up. I'm not finished with you yet. Went for that drop kick again. Missed the drop kick. Ran him over with that clothesline. Right in front of his woman. Trying to get the pin to only a two count. And Big Ivy is not happy with that. And now taking Duke for a stroll. Duke said, no, I don't want to go. Unhand me, stranger, danger. Oh, we unprettier, we unprettier. Shoots the half, turns him the right way. Hooks him so hard, both legs are in the air too. Only a two count. And back up to the top rope goes Mr. Drama. CTE, just straight CTE. And that's what it took. Delivering that CTE uh, via airmail. Jesus. Here is your winner, the Diamond Caddy. The Duke Drama with the first of seven, uh, with the first victory in his best of seven. Congratulations to him. Hope you enjoyed the night's event. I am happy to be back. I know everybody else is. Let's go. We got a whole season ahead of us. Congratulations. Do all that YouTube stuff. <laughs>